to learn more about docker let's deep dive into docker tags as we iterate through our application development we keep making changes to our code now for every change that we make to our source code we would like to build the image and publish it to our downstream environment and the question comes up in my mind is how am i going to version this docker image so in docker there is a concept called docker tags docker tags consist of three parts the first part in the docker tag is the namespace the second part in the docker tag is the image name both of these makes a repository part of the docker image and the last part uh, where you specify the version so in the when you run docker images command you will see that there is a tag which shows you the version of the image so that's how docker tags consist of three parts namespace image name and your tag version now let's see this in action so during my build time when i build the image i can specify the version as of now i'm just giving the image name i'm not specifying the namespace we'll see how to change that later so i want to build the image hello world node.js version 1.0.0 so same process i will see docker images now if you notice we have a hello world node.js image with tag as version 1.0.0 rather than the default latest tag now if i want to change this tag and specify namespace i can use the docker tag command which is used to rename or i would say create another tag for the existing images so i take hello world node.js version 1.0 but what i'm doing is extra is i'm giving a namespace to this uh, tag uh, image docker images you'll notice that now i have another image with this sunit parekh hello world node js version 1.0.0 you have the same image id for both of this so it is kind of uh, you can think like it's a alias to the same actual physical image so you have now two images with the same name now this is very useful also right you can keep using the image tag more creatively also so if i have to give my build number in my image what i could do is like i could export the git commit shop right so if i say echo dollar git commit it will show me the a uh, git shop for the source code i can use this to build my image as well right so i can say docker build i would like to build the docker image with git commit appended to my version so now it is done to do docker images and you can see the git commit is there in the docker you can use the build number also when you are doing when you are using jenkins or any other uh, continuous integration tool now i could also give my docker i can use docker tag more innovatively let's say i want to give this image a tag as let's say i could give sit so i keep changing it and i keep overriding the same tag again and again so my deployment can pick up always latest of sit tag and deploy my image so whenever i do this i have this i can do when i want to promote my sit image into qa i can say sit tag to qa same way i can say qa to uat and i can keep using tags more innovatively for my uh, different purposes and deployment however using the actual version and promoting the version is the better idea so you can see which version is deployed in which environment so this is how you can 
uh, create your uh, image tags and version them. Now the next another uh, part that I want to explain is how to push the image to the Docker repository. So let's go to the Docker Hub. And on Docker Hub, this is my account, Sunit Parekh. I want to create a repository. Hello world Node.js. Node.js application to keep it public. Right now, I don't want to link it. I can also directly link it with my GitHub account. So every check-in, it can build the new image. So I have my Docker repository created for the Hello World Node.js. So if you look at here, it says Docker push and then namespace is Sunit Parikh, which is my account name and my image name followed by the tag name. So if I go here, uh, let's push the image to the Docker repository. Now I have my image, which I want to push is here. So I say Docker, first I'll check my login is done. So Docker login, that should work fine. I'm already logged in. And say Docker push, hello world Node.js, followed by version. So once image is pushed, I can go and refresh here. And see my image here, which shows up. 